Marilyn with the Friends of the Library. And I'm Vicki with Friends of the Library. And we're here to tell you about a program that the Friends of the Library offers down at USCB on Carteret Street in the auditorium in January and February. And that program is Book Sandwiched In. Eight local members of our community choose a book that they would like to present and talk about from 12 to 1 o'clock in January and February. And Marilyn, tell us some more about it. Well, the lineup is very interesting, but I really have to say that um, you really need to come early. Come at 11.30 because we have cookies and coffee for free and we also have raffle prizes and the program is free. So everything is free, although we take donations. But the lineup starts with uh, Lynn and Seal Selden, Selden presenting a book that they wrote called A Hundred Things to Do in Charleston Before You Die. And then the next week, which is January 13th, Andrea Allen, who is a lifelong social worker and has worked with mental health issues, is going to review the book Educated, which I believe most people have heard of. It's about a very dysfunctional um, home life where a girl is raised without schooling and ultimately goes on to get a PhD. The third book in the series will be on January 27th, and Don Freeman, who is a school and private counselor, will be presenting this book. The book is on the topic of teen suicide and not belonging. Netflix has made this into a series and the cover of the book says it's now in 37 languages so you can tell it's a very important, important issue and an important book. The next week after that will be February the 3rd and the book will be The Tubman Command. This is a book about Harriet Tubman and of course a great, of great importance in American history and a great importance in the Low Country. We have two locals who will be presenting this, Herman Gaither and Roland Garner, and I think a lot of us know them, and those that are new to the community come out and meet them, and I think this will be a really good book for us. Marilyn, great, got another one? Yes, um, this is a very special event. This is a book called uh, State of the Heart, South Carolina Writers on the Places that They Love. And uh, this is a panel presentation sponsored by the Pat Conroy Literary Center. And the members of the panel are, in fact, the writers who've contributed essays about places they love. Aida Rogers, Patty Callahan Henry, David Lauderdale, Stephen Hoffius, and Sally Ann Robinson. The following week will be Minnow, and this will be February the 17th, and James McTeer, you might recognize the name McTeer, he's the grandson of the um, High Sheriff of the Low Country. In fact, the book uh, was inspired by his grandfather. It's a historical fiction set right here, and it's a book of mystery and lore. And we look forward to having James McTeer come down from Columbia to talk to us about his book. The next book after that will be presented by Dr. Steve Kessel on February the 24th. He is a local retired physician and now helping out in um, with the uh, Carolina Hospice. Uh, it's Being Mortal. It's a well-received book about aging and the end of life issues. I did read that. That was that was amazing. Um, our final book, which is going to be presented on March 2nd, is Islands in the Stream, which is an Ernest Hemingway book that was published after, um, nine years after he passed away. And it's really semi-autobiographical. And Liz Farrell, who writes for the Packet and Gazette, is going to present it. She's very enthusiastic about that. So that is the series, but all these um, books and the dates are on our website, friendsofthebeaufortlibrary.com. And also, <clears throat> we have these rack cards that are in the library, and you can pick those up at St. Helena, Lobico, um, Beaufort, or even Hilton Head and Bluffton. Um, so everything you need to know is here. About your friends. Anything else? Come out. We'll, Marilyn and I and many of our friends will be there each week. It's free. It's fun. Lasts an hour, and we hope to see you there. And... Don't forget to support our sponsors. We couldn't do this without them. Absolutely. So thanks. Thank you.